There's a new coalition in Ottawa, and they've gotten together to make sure that you pay your carbon taxes on your home heating bill. Unless you're in Quebec, because they're exempt. Now, it was astonishing on Friday to learn that the NDP were going to get together with the Conservative Party to vote for everyone to be exempted from the carbon taxes on their home heating bills. This was a last-ditch effort, a panic effort from the Liberals in maritime provinces to give a cut to anyone who uses home heating oil, which is obviously far worse for the environment than is uh, natural gas or most anything else. Nonetheless, I mean, obviously people need to heat their homes. And this was a big mistake of putting the carbon tax on home heating at all, let alone the carbon tax period. Now, when Trudeau came in with the liberals, gave an exemption to people with these oil heating for the next three years, Put it, in, put it, in, put, <laughs> put the NDP in a in a precarious spot because their people need to heat their homes too, just as everyone else across the country who has doesn't use uh, oil heating and whatnot, but may use natural gas. You guessed it, and natural gas home heating carbon tax is just astronomically un economical, unethical to be putting on people to do this. Now, I, Trudeau was in a big search. Who's my the next contestant to sell the rest of Canada out? And well, somebody jumped up to the plate. Hi, here I am, Mr. Yves Francois Blanchette from the Black Québécois party. I've, <laughs> I mispronounce all the stuff, but uh, do we care really? At the end of the day, uh, I, I'm just saying how it's spelled, but they formed a new coalition. The Carbon Tax Coalition in Canada. There you go. Made a brand new logo for everybody. I'll put uh, I'll put this out on Twitter so everybody can just grab it and share it out as much as you can because that's what these guys are. Now, it's funny because why would they get so involved in this and join this one? Well, it's for political gain, of course, because, well, Quebec is exempt from carbon taxes, and yet they're deciding what everybody else in Canada gets to pay while their own constituency gets to, you guessed it, not pay this. That is a thing on their end, but let's get into some of this. Scott Moe saying, the motion to extend the home heating exemption and carbon tax fairness to all Canadians was defeated because the Liberal government was supported by the Bloc Québécois. Québécois? Is that how you pronounce that? Québécois a party that wants to break up Canada. The, that explains a lot about the state of our country under Trudeau. Absolutely. Carbon tax fairness for Canadian families defeated. Defeated by these two lovebirds over in Ottawa, uh, both, uh, you know, with their constituencies out of Quebec themselves, both of them. But here we go. It's amazing. It's amazing when the liberals put something out that's just so, so true. Uh, choice for Canadians is clear. They got a better plan. They're, who's got a better plan? Well, let's see what Trudeau has to say here. In these difficult times, whenever you hear a politician speak, ask yourself a question. <laughs> are they trying to solve the problems we are facing? Oh. Or are they trying to amplify the problems we are facing? Oh, well, let's ask that question. Are you trying to solve the problem of people not being able to heat their homes because you've run the economy down in the dirt? Or are you trying to amplify these problems by ensuring that people continue to pay these expensive, expensive, unnecessary carbon taxes? Well, I think we know the answer. Now, Pierre Pauly, if he jumped on to CPAC, uh, well, this is off CPAC, but he went out and gave a public statement right away after the vote uh, was defeated. Um, and this is with the NDP backing the conservative motion. This is to save Canadians and Canadian families money in this scenario, especially as winter's coming, it's cold in Canada, and a heat pump is not going to help you, especially when your heat pump in most areas, if you're, if you're over uh, overblowing the grid with all this new electricity from heat pumps when the electrical grid is not going to accept it they're going to have to buy electricity from the united states and guess what guess what in the u.s they make electricity from coal so if you're buying a heat pump largely know that in a lot of these places it's a coal driven heat pump that's uh i can't drive this one home enough coal powered heat pumps 
So here we go. Uh, <laughs> Pierre Polyev. Justin Trudeau confirmed again today that he's not worth the cost. But what we learned is that he's now got a new carbon tax coalition with the separatists to divide our country. Given that the NDP was forced to flip-flop on Trudeau's plan to quadruple the tax, he had to find a new partner to keep him in power and avoid this non-confidence vote from passing. And who was there to save him? The separatists. So he's now signed on with the separatists to divide Canadians into two separate classes, those who will have to pay carbon tax on their home heat and a small minority who will get a pause from the pain. All let's, not, let's not forget about the Quebecers who don't pay it because they have a whole different deal. They don't, they don't have a carbon tax in Quebec. Oh, wow. Wow, that's true. All of Trudeau's MPs sold out their constituents and voted to make their home heating more expensive. Trudeau and his costly MPs have divided our country, raised our taxes, and pushed our people out into the cold. After eight years of Justin Trudeau, two million people, a record smashing two million people had to go to the food bank in a single month. After eight years of Trudeau, we've had the worst inflation in, a, in four decades and the fastest rises in interest rates in monetary history. <laughs> Where was the, the rises four decades ago? Who was at the helm? Trudeau's dad. That's right, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Right after him, we went through similar things. He's, he's actually worse than his dad. Can you believe that? After eight years of Trudeau, housing costs have doubled, and the share of an average paycheck required to make payments on an average home is higher than ever before. It now takes 25 years to, make, to, to, to save up for a down payment on an average Toronto home. It used to be you'd pay off a, an entire mortgage in that time period right. before Trudeau. And after eight years of Trudeau, you can now buy a 20-bedroom castle in Scotland for a lower price than a two-bedroom home in Kitchener. After eight years of Trudeau, criminals ask if they can stay in jail longer so that they don't have to get out and pay the rent in his housing hell. That's actually true. It's it's ridiculous. And here we have it where Trudeau has uh, he's in, in enforcing a, a carbon tax across the provinces across Canada, except on some liberal voters. This was a uh, there was a lot of uh, people moving over to the Conservative Party in uh, Maritimes, Canada, in, in Atlantic Canada. And well, so Trudeau went over there with some payola and said, we're going to relieve you of these burdensome taxes that we're putting on you. Now, of course, here's Yves Francois Bl Bl Blanchet to uh, come in. Okay, He did a long conference and it was all in French. Uh, all I could give you is, is one thing that he answered to a reporter in English, uh, or he said a little bit in English here. Uh, are you surprised from the, the, the guys who are separate, want to separate from Canada? I mean, can we have another referendum already? See you later. Now in English, okay. Um, the Bloc Québécois considers that since first this so-called carbon tax does not apply in Quebec, they're uh, gonna they're gonna concern themselves with the rest of everybody. Uh, in fact, there is no kind of taxation or tarification about uh, uh, greenhouse gas, em gas emissions in Quebec, which uh, federal tarification or taxes which applies in Quebec. There's none. They don't Quebec pay it. Quebec has its own system which works well uh, and maybe some other Canadian provinces should look into it as an example of things that might be tried. The cap and trade system that Quebec has implemented with California, I was minister back then, uh, has now been, been joined by Washington State which proves that this might be something interesting to look into. Uh, but uh, gas emissions and its effects uh, on the environment do uh, apply in Quebec. And for such a simple environmental uh, question, of course, of course, the Bloc Québécois will not do as the NDP and vote, strangely, with the Conservatives. You say strangely. Why do you say strangely? And does this question you think in your mind and the minds of other people the NDP's commitment to fighting climate change you know what this is I have said so many times environment is not 
a fancy thing that you entertain between crises. It is in and by itself a very important issue and we have to be constant and patient and determined in those matters if the federal government wants to improve our gas emission in domestic eating. The good idea is to uh, support the financing of, I do not know how to translate thermopompe, heat pumps. Uh, oh, that's heat a pumps. good idea. But reducing taxes on mazout fuel uh, or any other uh, oil or gas uh, type of uh, eating is an idea which goes against the best interest of the whole planet. Of course, they're not paying it, but you know, it's against the idea of the planet for you. Uh, just, just for those who are not from Canada, eating is, uh, uh, I have to translate that, he meant heating. Uh, they have a hard time with H's uh, when they're talking. Now, Pierre Polyev, answering some questions as well, getting into it. Uh, you know, when people ask, like, what, what is it that the Conservatives will do for the climate, as the climate is an issue for many voters? Liberals keep saying that your party does not have a climate plan. Would a Conservative government commit Canada to meeting the Paris targets? Our common sense plan uses technology and not taxes to bring down both emissions and the cost of living. We've already said we will green light green projects like small modular nuclear reactors, hydroelectric uh, dams, uh, tidal, and wa tidal wave power, and other emissions-free energy that will lead to a massive boom in the clean energy that goes onto our grids and powers our future. We said we will speed up the approval of lithium, graphite, cobalt, and other mines that will be necessary for the electric future. That, that is only possible if you get government out of the way and speed up approvals to green light green projects. That's a will common you, you sense plan. So that's that's a big issue. A lot of it's the difference between shutting it all down. Shutting it all down, people are going to have to still need to heat their homes. They're still going to have to uh, get a job. So what do these people do? Well, you might go along the lines with the the Klaus Schwab types to say we need to, to sort something out with the useless eaters. Uh, but instead, we should be putting them to work, put a lot of people to work in new energy projects. And this is something we could definitely do. Why is it that we're buying cobalt from, uh, you know, slave labor in Africa? We shouldn't be doing that. We, should, we could be doing it here in Canada. We need to green light a lot of these projects. And I, I definitely agree with him. He goes on further uh, to another question asking about 2030 targets. On to the 2030 you target. Do you support the you, 2030 targets? Uh, that's a good question. The, well, let's, see, let's see how far off Justin Trudeau's carbon tax disaster is for meeting those targets, because so far he hasn't met a single solitary target when it comes to greenhouse gas reduction. So we now know, by Justin Trudeau's own admission, that the carbon tax is not a climate plan. According to him, you can remove the carbon tax off oil heat and it won't hurt the environment. That's his argument. So now the question you have to ask is that after eight years in power, why is it that Justin Trudeau still doesn't have a plan to fight climate change? Thank you. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> so this leads me to go on to, this is what I've been preaching about a long time, is let's, let's be real environmentalists here because I care about the environment. I care about the real stuff you know, our, you know, clean water, clean air, clean all of these things. Let's uh, end pollution. But the best way, we've, we've, as we've seen over years and years and years, is when there's a vibrant economy and people are doing well, they tend to care about the environment. What they're doing in the, the liberal government is doing with the Quebecois now is, is actually impoverishing Canadians. And if you impoverish Canadians, it's going to push them into caring less and less about the, uh, the environment. This is why I've tr I launched the t-shirt here on my, on my site, ecological, not environmental. 
emphasis on the logical, not mental. These people are mental when they think when it comes to what they think they're going to do with the ecology, what it comes to do with what they think they're going to do fighting climate change. No, this is really, really ridiculous. We'll clean up our act when we have a vibrant economy, and that's uh, that's that's how it's gonna work. So, link is always in the description down below. Franco Terrazano breaking this one on Twitter earlier today. He had this to say: Liberal MPs left you out in the cold. They just voted against giving carbon tax relief for all Canadians. Look, it's very disappointing that Liberal MPs threw their constituents through you under the bus. They're chickens. They could have told the prime minister that they work for their constituents. They work for you and not him. But again, they're chickens and they think the fight is over, but they are dead wrong because we are going to keep the pressure on them. Absolutely. They're going to keep the pressure on. Of course, this is Franco Terzano of the Taxpayers Federation. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check them out as well. And this video. Uh, here's here's the, uh, the, the sentiment here in Ottawa. Liberal NP uh mcdonald for avalon here uh, gives the finger to canadians over the carbon tax vote mr mcdonald avalon <laughs> and they're all snickering you mr. see that McDonald, avalon. <laughs> yeah that was very much intentional this was uh, of course mr. uh mr ken mcdonald uh of the avalon newfoundland that was uh great yeah cool thanks thanks mr uh liberal mp <laughs> you guys are gonna get a tax break great for the next three years but guess what people in the uh in the maritimes remember this you're getting a tax break for three years that's the that's the the time until the next election uh if you want to keep that tax break vote them out <laughs> absolutely and it's not looking great for them at the moment here's from the toronto star i talked about this in today this morning's video justin trudeau is a problem for his party and even if he quits it might not save the liberals a poll is suggesting and <laughs> he is not doing well at all i mean uh with his with his age coming on he's lost his looks which is largely all he had going for him but this is uh, this is pretty bad. It's looking terrible. The polls from 338 are showing that the Liberals are in decline. Uh, Bloc Québécois only has uh, you know a constituency in Quebec, but perhaps the Conservatives would be a better bet for them if uh, in the future uh, in Quebec. Who knows? Who knows? The uh, NDP are not polling so well with the whole Liberal coalition, but maybe doing a little bit better considering they're actually standing up for. Canadians and being able to heat their homes, but we'll see how far that goes because it seems like they're bowing to political pressure that you know the Liberals just bowed to. Conservatives are coming out on top over this. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think about this new coalition? Is it political expedience? We all know that the Quebecers don't have to pay this tax, where the rest of you know anyone east of Quebec essentially or west of Quebec have to pay this tax. Unless you have uh, a home heating with, uh, 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 what is it, oil, oil home heating, which is not very common in most of the rest of the country. But natural gas is and is much cleaner. It just goes to show that this is not about uh, reducing carbon or emissions or any sort of pollution. It's really about politics and uh, you know, the liberal government is punishing Canadians in this fight here. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.